Good morning friends. My name is Rudhima. Today I am going to tell about ecological sustainable farming. So, has anyone ever wondered why people aren't as healthy as they used to be? Why is our generation facing many new health problems? Let's go back to the beginning. Ecological farming. Everything we used to put in our fields did not disturb the ecology. But nowadays people have started using man-made chemicals. This causes the environment to get polluted and everyone's health is at risk including us. Hence, commercial farming causes a lot of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Because of this, the soil loses its richness. So, we should not use chemical fertilizers and pesticides. So, I would like to show you my model on ecological sustainable farming. So, this is my model. I would like to start with rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is a harvest where we save rainwater for our future use. So, when it rains, uh, the, this tank will be filled with rainwater and that water will be sent through this pipe and it goes to the plants. This process is known as, known as uh, drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is a process where we allow the water to drip slowly and go to the plants. So the gravity pulls the water from the tank and it goes to the plants. In case of no rainfall, what should we do? Don't worry. The groundwater will be pumped through the well and it will into the tank. And again, the drip irrigation process will continue. This is done by the solar panel. So what are the other uses of the solar panel? There are some uses of the solar panel. The solar panel also gives electricity power to the fence, uh, electrical fences to keep away wild animals. And it also gives electricity power to the street light. Now I would like to move to the polycrop farm. This is the polycrop farm. You might be thinking why did I grow cabbage and tomato together? I'll give you an example. As you can see I have grown cabbage and tomato kit together. Cabbage kills the insect which is trying to eat the tomato and tomato kills the insect which is trying to eat the cabbage. So that helps farmers to keep away um, pests from um, eating their crops. So now I would like to move to the multi crop farm. This is a multi crop farm as you can see. So I have grown multiple crops in one field. So um, it will it will help in for maintaining the soil fertility and it won't deplete. It will be sustainable uh, you know every year. So uh, it is important for us to grow multiple crops in one field. There is also a process called crop rotation in which uh, we will grow my, uh, you know different different crops in uh, different different places so as you can see I have grown maize here and some vegetations so the second round I will grow maize here and I will grow the vegetation here so if we rotate uh, uh, like in a process like this it will also help in uh, soil fertility so as you heard about polycropping, multi-cropping and the crop rotation, these all processes help in biodiversity. So now I would like to move to my favorite part in my model. So my favorite part is the animal farm. As you can see this is the cow shed and this is the hen hoop. So all the further for the animals will be sent from the agriculture farm. So, uh, the animal waste will be sent to the biogas plant. So, uh, can I move to the biogas plant? Okay, I'll move to the biogas plant. The biogas plant, as I told, they take all the animal waste and the, the crop waste and they make, uh, make gas which is called as methane. That gas will be sent to the family to cook their food. So, we, as you can see, I am not wasting anything. So, if I get some compost, my uh, leftover compost manure, that will be sent to the crops as a natural fertilizer. So, we are not wasting anything, as I told. So, in the farm, we are not wasting anything. So, that's very helpful. Now, I would like to go to the agroforest. The agroforest helps in water and soil retention. It also keeps uh, helps the cows to graze and gives them shade. It mainly keeps the farm cool. Um, I would like to move 
to the storage unit now. The storage unit uh, keeps all stores all the animal products and the uh, you know animal products and the crop products, and uh, it will be sent to the market to be sold after some time. Now I would like to move to the green greenhouse. So the greenhouse is a unique practice of keeping the crops safe from pests and uh, bad weather. So our traditional farmers are so happy instead of buying products from our money hungry corporations they follow the natural ways to keep their farm healthy so i hope you like my project on ecological sustainable far farming i would also like to conclude that ecological sustainable farming starts with a foundation of good a uh, healthy soil so i hope you like my project on ecological sustainable farming so thank you.